I thought this story was interesting. The Patriots' Julian Edelman was banned for the first month for violating the PED policy. The unspoken part of this is that Julian Edelman is a Tom Brady client, TB12 client. Translation, Julian Edelman is an Alex Guerrero client. Translation, that's what Belichick, that's why he got him off the sidelines and off the plane. This has been a point of contention. All this noise around New England did, did not start with Malcolm Butler being yanked in the Super Bowl. It started three months earlier when Belichick booted Alex Guerrero, Tom's personal trainer, off the plane and off the sidelines. That was the first controversy with New England. Now, it didn't affect them. They got to the Super Bowl, but that was the first noise we'd heard out of New England in you know 18 years. So Guerrero now, knowing that Julian Edelman is a client of his, a lot of people are saying, oh, oh, I thought Alex Guerrero had all the answers. Tom Brady looks 12 years old. What are they doing over there? He said, I've known Julian since his rookie year. Phenomenal athlete. It's disappointing to hear today's news, said Alex Guerrero. Elite athletes sometimes work with multiple coaches, multiple health professionals as part of their training. Here at our facility, we take a natural, holistic approach. Legal approach to training, he says, and recovery for all of our clients. And anybody who would suggest otherwise is irresponsible and just plain wrong. Okay, all right. But let me ask you. Tom Brady wanted to do this TB12 clinic, right? And Belichick pushed back. It's going to cause some strife. Well, ask yourself, doesn't Tom Howe now have to answer some questions on this? Doesn't this create a little bit of a fissure between Belichick, who's saying, I told you so, and Brady, who is saying, Guerrero's legitimate. If you think I'm wrong and I'm overstating this, ask yourself this. In the next month, what would happen if one more Patriot using the TB12 clinic was caught using PEDs? We'd have ourselves a major problem. We'd have ourselves a major problem. The downside to Tom Brady having this cool clinic, Tom's now responsible in some level for this. He's got to at least address it, doesn't he? Now, I understand Brady's thinking, hey, the TB12 clinic, it's business. This is great for my brand, but it does add a layer of headaches, does it not? Just ask yourself, tomorrow, Gronk comes out, PEDs, two stars, TB12 clinic, busted, violating, ethical questions, TB12, Tom's in the middle of it. Now, I was never a fan of Alex Guerrero encroaching on Belichick's territory, mostly because the Belichick thing was working. But I understand pro athletes, you know, I, I get it, their body's a temple. I mean, I get it. I, I totally get it. But when this story comes out, this is what Belichick was worried about. If this stuff happens, I can't keep it in-house. And now I've got to talk about it. And now I've got to address it. And now my quarterback's got to address it. This is what New England avoided. You know, I, I, I've always had this. There's an old saying that the NFL is just a bunch of frustrated basketball players. That of all the athletes, baseball, because they have 10-year deals, get the richest basketballs have the most power that can get coaches fired. Football is the most popular sport, but their athletes can be cut. They make the least money despite the fact they get hurt a lot and it's easily the most popular league. And I think Brady looks around and I, and I've sensed this before from NFL people, you start looking around and you're Tom Brady and you're like, how do average NBA guys have these huge brands, I got to start building my brand. And I think it's, you know, Odell Beckham now is like, what about my shoes? And we've never really had this before. Like players sort of got in line. Weren't a lot of endorsements 15 years ago for NFL guys. And then, you know, Peyton Manning and Favre started getting, but you're seeing a little bit of the NBAization of sports and brands move into the NFL. And I think, you know, I, I get it. It's just going to be different because the culture of the NFL has always been team, shield, coach, 
you know, concentrate, OTAs, camps, the season never ends. In basketball, it's about elevating the star, giving him a shoe deal. Uh, you know, it's different. Like, this, the basketball player runs the league. The NFL is run by coaches, GMs, owners, the shield, the league, the commissioner. And so Brady's like, yeah, I want to empower my brand. But this is the concern with it. Now you got a brand, guy busted, you get defensive, you got to address it. Um, you know, I just think that's this is the world we live in right now with sports. And so Tom now wakes up this morning and, oh, crap. And you can say it's not a big deal, but just ask yourself. Just ask yourself. Gronk tomorrow, PEDs. Coupled with Edelman, PED, Guerrero client, that is a horrible look for Brady. And he's got himself in the middle of a tsunami. Because we already think, you know, those Patriots over there, they're already pushing the envelope, deflate gate, you know. I mean, I'll be honest with you. If 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 Gronk got busted PEDs, if you look at Deflate Gate Brady, a couple of guys at his clinic get busted, is it good for Brady's brand? I mean, honestly, ask your and I'm a Brady guy, but if one more guy gets busted at his clinic, don't all of us go, Tom looks a little young for 40. Edelman busted, Deflate Gate, bald size issue, somebody else busted. This TB12 clinic is not necessarily great for Brady's brand. I think he thinks it is. All it takes is one more guy to get busted, and Tom could look a little skeevy. Guerrero can deny it, but it would look skeevy. You throw in Deflategate, you throw in Edelman, one more guy gets a PED bust out of that clinic, that ain't good.